Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Stefania from Gaming with Stefania. And in this tutorial, we are going to dive into the terrain stamping tools, but now we are going to see how they work with advanced controls. So let's get started. In the last tutorial, we talked about all of these tools, the cube, the sphere, the cylinder, the pyramid, and the ramp. But I think it's important for you to know that there are some more advanced controls that you can use to place them on the terrain. If you press X on your keyboard on Windows, you will see this tool with three different arrows. A green one, a red one, and a blue one. These are more detailed controls that you can use to move the tool on a particular axis, like up and down, left and right, and forwards and backwards, okay? You can use this to have more control over the positioning of the tool. And if you press X again, you will see another set of advanced controls. Now you will see three circles. These are used to rotate the tool in three different axes. For example, let's say that we want to rotate it in this way, so we can rotate it. We can also rotate it this way. And we can rotate it this way with the green circle. So you have a lot of control over these tools and these tools work for all the different shapes that you need to use or that you can use for the stamping tools. We will talk about these tools in more detail when we cover how to build in Planet Zoo. I will create a series of tutorials on this topic on how to build and we will see the controls in more detail. But just know that you can use them with the stamp tool. Awesome! Thank you for watching, have a great day and I will see you in the next video.